for some years now been working with and talking to most of the major car makers in the world. The problem with them is that they don't develop new gearboxes very often. If I go to them and say, you know, do you like our new gearbox, they can say yes, but the next time we develop an all new design may be five, six, seven years away. The Chinese need the technology today and that makes it very attractive to us. greatest population on the planet. 1.3 billion people. A nation that is set to become the world's next superpower. This is the story of the greatest transformation on Earth. It is now predicted that the Chinese economy will become the largest in the world in little more than 20 years. China already consumes more than one-third of the world's steel and almost half of the world's concrete. In any single minute, the Chinese nation now burns almost two and a half thousand tons of coal, 24 million watts of electricity, and 210,000 gallons of crude oil. It has been estimated that within 30 years, we will need another planet Earth to satisfy China's ever-growing appetite for raw materials. Home to some 11 million people, the capital of Sichuan province can trace its roots back over 4,000 years as a settlement on the Chengdu Plain, or as it's known, the Land of Abundance. There's a carefree approach to life here, and it's regarded by some as China's party city. It's also home to one of the most important giant panda sanctuaries in the world, the iconic mascot of a nation that is forging ahead economically while still retaining in cities such as Chengdu an appreciation of culture and tradition that are the essence of Chinese life. And here we are at the Chengdu circuit just outside the city itself for this second event of A1 GP World Cup of Motorsport season making his debut here this weekend in A1GP. Yes, big name, big family reputation in motorsport around the world.